Hi everyone, still with us here on the C Morning Show and that was a little of Olivia Pardede's journey as a singer and that journey has brought her here to the C That's Today right. Studios today to join us on the C Morning Show. Good morning Olivia, thank Good you for morning, joining us. Guys. Yeah. Hi. So congratulations on your new single, we can see it behind us here, Laya Kuchinta. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So basically this song is about um, someone who has been hurt but still believe in love. Um, okay. There's a girl who met a guy and they were in a situationship. But this girl thinks that this guy, um, the way this guy treats this girl uh, makes her feel that, oh, it's, it's gonna be serious, you know, mm. like something like that. But okay. in the end, like all of a sudden, this guy said that, uh, I'm sorry, I have, I have no feelings for you. Okay. And that Ouch. hurt. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt the, the the girl so so bad. But actually, that's not the point of the song. Because okay. what I wanna, um, what I wanna share actually, uh, the lyrics that say uh, that it's just a way God tells her and save her heart for someone uh, better. You know. Okay. Yeah. So like no regrets for going through that yeah, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. Still worth it in the long run. Wow, okay. Don't get triggered well, by the way. Gonna, I was just gonna ask, when was the last time you uh, been uh, through all that? Oh my goodness, it was uh, I guess the that. mid 90s. I was. There you go. Been a while. <laughs> so are you draw uh, did you did you come up with this uh, entire concept yourself or is it drawing from personal experience? I'm sure you get this question all the uh -huh. time. Okay. So actually, uh, this is my own story. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> yeah. So that that's what inspired me, and um, I was in a in a unnecessary pain because mm. yeah. I want to move on. And then, um, actually, that was the first time I knew a guy, but we're not in a relationship. But the the pain is it, it takes a long time, you know. Like it's right. one and a half year. I I, I felt that, oh, okay. and I think I, I have to pour it to to release myself. Right. So I, I wrote, wrote this song uh, in order to free myself. Yeah, they say that, you know, a lot of like well, artists and singers, healing, huh? when they create, yeah. yes, it's a, yeah, when yeah, they yeah. actually, uh, instead of just holding in their feelings, they put it out into a song. Right. It's kind of like closure as well, because there, it's out there now. Right. And finally, let yeah. it finally share the story with on. others. And you actually took. There was a bit of a hiatus after the singing competition that you were part of in 2020. Yeah. You immediately released your first single, which got rave reviews. And then there was this kind of two-year hiatus, which happened to be in line with the pandemic. Did mm -hmm. that have something to do with it? Uh, why you waited another two years before you released your newest single? Yeah, yeah. It's really hard, actually. Uh, the pandemic, you know, for us musicians, singer. Because... Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the first time I wrote this, I, uh, I just like wrote the, the, the chorus part. Mm -hmm. So, and then I, I, I leave it. Mm -hmm. And on 2022, I remember, oh, I, I, ha I have a song. That's right. <laughs> that's not finished. Yeah. And I think I have to finish this. Okay. Um, and magically, when I finish this song, I feel so relief. I feel free from the from the pain. All right. And okay, I want to release this song, yeah. and maybe I will try to produce it. So it was my debut as a sing songwriter and a producer. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. This is the first time. Yeah, you did yeah. It. Well, congratulations. Yeah. On that. No, I mean I feel like with your second single here, like Uchinta, it's quite relatable, right? Yeah. To, to kids. Sorry. Yeah, indeed. I don't know how they did it back in the '90s, P, but I mean. <laughs> What um, Olivia here is talking through her song is definitely relatable to a lot of us. Mm -hmm. And um, now you mentioned that you started writing this song back in 2020. Oh, yeah. And you've only, the, the chorus part yeah, at yeah. least, and then you picked up on it again in yeah. 2022. So how long did you take to finish this song, like the production process? Can you tell us a little okay. bit more about that? As a producer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I start to continue to write this song, um, I think, um, May 2020, uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember, but the the recording uh, process started on July. Okay. And then we make the video on August. Mm -hmm. And 
yeah, we have to, you know, like some editing and stuff, and finally we release it on November. So it's like, like months, three months, four yeah, months. Yeah, four months, four months. What did you enjoy out of the process of being a producer on your song as well, instead of just singing somebody mm. else's song? Oh, it's really hard. It's really hard. It's difficult. Yeah. It's challenging. It's what is what's the most challenging thing? The most challenging is. Um, I feel like the 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 main uh, thing I need is a solid team. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really hard to you know like um, to think the same the same thing like all 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 right, everyone the being on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. And there are many um, issues between me and my team. That that's that's really challenging. Mm -hmm. But but finally we did it. Okay. So. Did you learn a lot from that experience? Yeah, yeah. I learned a lot. That's yeah. great. Now, um, you said that your second single came out on, in November, right? Yeah. Was there a specific reason why it came out on that, um, day, on that month? No, actually. Because um, uh, in the editing process, there, there were some, some problems. So actually, I want to release it before, like uh, uh, sooner. Okay. But yeah, fine. Right. We have to wait. We have to postpone and then we release it on November. Yeah, a long process for sure. Yeah. Now, speaking of process, you've definitely came a long way. You know, you sang in many competitions, representing Indonesia even in the ASEAN Song Contest, which is amazing. And now you finally dropped your second single after lots of, you know, working on it, process, even putting it on hold for a little bit pandemic. during the pandemic. <laughs> exactly. And um, now that, you know, you're finally released your second single, the pandemic's kind of, you know, eased down a little. You're performing more, I'm sure, a lot more now. Um, how has your music career affected your day-to-day -day life now, okay. would you say? Um, Much change at all, or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, my journey changed me a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and honestly, pandemic changed me a lot, too. Yeah, uh, yeah maybe a lot of us changed because of the pandemic Definitely. and I feel so I feel so grateful I feel so blessed it's a long journey because yeah. I I fell in love with, with music since I was a kid mm -hmm. and competition to competition it's it's tough it's but it's fun though right. so yeah I feel I feel grateful and I feel so blessed mm -hmm. and what I want to do is I want to sing all my life I want to keep singing because it's what I want to do, and I want to keep, you know, like inspiring people through my music. Right. Yeah. And speaking of your music, so let's talk about the comparison. Your first single was Dengar Hati in yeah. Listen to My Heart, mm -hmm. and this single is Layak Kucinta. Uh -huh. How has your outlook and you yourself changed from one song to the other? When you listen to your first single, mm -hmm. and then you now let's play back your second single that you've actually had a hand in creating as well. Uh -huh. How do you see yourself evolving from, uh, from the past two years, I guess? Okay. Uh, Dengar Hati ini actually is written by my friend mm -hmm. uh, Indah Anastasia and Martin. It's a beautiful song, but it's a heart song also. Okay. Uh, but in Laya Kucinta, um, uh, I wrote this and I just want to be honest with myself. So uh, I just wrote what I want to say mm -hmm. and I make, the, I make it you know, like lighter from the Dengar Hati ini, it's a, it's a grande song. This right, one is right. like lighter and yeah, easy listening. More easy yeah. okay. Um Maybe uh, it, it, I, I learned to, to be, you know, sometimes we, we don't have to be always like show our skills and right. anything, but we just have to be honest in music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I learned about that. Yeah, and I think uh, it's it's different when you're, I'm sure, when you're performing your own music, when it's actually your story you're retelling. Yeah, it's a yeah. different way. Yeah, it's, it's different. different yeah, it's, it's, you, it's you pouring your whole heart yeah. into Definitely. it, right? Yeah. Now, you know, with the second single now out, are we expecting an album soon? Oh, I hope, I hope so. I hope. Yes. Is it in the works? Or is that, what have you got planned? Yeah, um, there will be some, some more uh, new songs and hopefully uh, it will be in an album, yeah. maybe next year, I hope. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I just released a duet single with Ryan Pono, if you mm -hmm. guys know. It's a it's R&B song, mm -hmm. nice. which is actually my 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 root. Okay. I'm uh, yeah, I, I'm into R&B actually, but right. yeah. Uh, so maybe I will. Um, 
my album will be like um, there, there, there will be some songs maybe pop and R and B and maybe other 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 genre. Okay, and yeah. perhaps collaborations as well, more yeah. collaborations yeah. as well. So, um, is this going to be all now that you've kind of got a taste of being a producer as well? Are you going to produce your future songs on this album as well? Um, it's interesting to try again. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot of work. But, but and, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. And now I'm uh, I'm joining a new label, so okay, right. I will work with them. Mm -hmm. But maybe in the future I will try to produce my song again. Yeah, That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. I'll be so, hell. what about live performances? Um, obviously, Ooh. live performances are back since last year. Mm -hmm. Restrictions have been lifted. How has that changed your uh, trajectory when it comes to your career? Now that you released the single at the end of November of last year, mm -hmm. and you've been allowed, to, we've been allowed to have shows and concerts yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. Has this uh, picked up for you as well? Yeah, of course, for every singer and yeah. musician. How I has think. it been for you performing, back performing again after like such a long break? Uh -huh. um, actually, uh, it, it, like what I say, it, it changed me a lot. Like, um, we never know, uh, we never know what will happen, but you appreciate it so yeah, much more yeah, now. Yeah, every yeah, time yeah. you like, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what what I can do is I I, I still want to work in music. I still want to write songs. I still want to sing. So, because uh, that's what my dream and that's what I want to do. So I hope that uh, this pandemic and everything that happened uh, will make me. You know, like tougher as a musician and other singer, Amen. and yeah, I hope I can I can share good impact through my music. Yeah. Well, you certainly yeah. have already. For yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, on that note, do you have any messages that you'd like to share about your hopes for the Indonesian music industry? Mm -hmm. um, I hope there will be many new young singers and musicians who will. Um, you know, like jazz up the industry, yeah. and through music, through our work, we can inspire people, mm -hmm. even the world. We can. Uh, my one of my dream is to give a good impact to people mm. from yeah. music. That's yeah, we hope so for you yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. So uh, listen, we yeah. Yeah, we have something <laughs> exciting for you, and of course okay. for all you folks at home before. We give you the treat to witness Olivia's live performance. Uh -huh. We have some quick challenges for you, actually. That's today, right. Olivia. We're going to put you to work twice mm -hmm. today. So um, we know that if you do follow uh, Olivia or live on social media, you would have seen her cover songs mm -hmm. sometimes. And you're very good at it, by the way. So we're prepared a challenge for you called the impersonation challenge. So on the uh, plasma screen behind us, right we're going to put up uh, three, three singers, and you just have to impersonate each mm -hmm. one of them. Okay. okay we'll here we go. Any song out by them, by okay, the way. Okay, so here we go. go ahead. Okay. Ooh. I've been listening to her since I was a kid. Okay. Hey, Christina right. Aguilera. Christina yes. Aguilera. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> tough so, tough uh, voice song. to impersonate, but I'm okay, sure you I'll can do it. Tina. <laughs> okay, I was trying. What's your favorite song from Christina Aguilera? Um, a you lot. A <laughs> can I make a <laughs> That's request? Your <laughs> That's your favorite song. That's my favorite. That's my era. <laughs> I don't need to see the light. Oh, wow. There is a world you know about. Well, no, 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 no. I don't remember the lyrics. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that was uh, by the way, she didn't warm up. <laughs> and she's sitting down. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I, I was oh, wow. taking, I'm caught yeah, off guard. I mean, so was I. Do we have another one? Next one. Go ahead, Green. There you go. Next. There oh, it's go. Reza. Reza Artamedia. Oh, it's hard. Nothing, no one can say it's easy for you today. Ingatkah kan dirimu yang pernah menyakiti aku? Kau kecewakan aku, tapi ku maafkan salahku. Maybe that. I felt like I was at a cafe. I know. I was at the South Jakarta. National anthem. One more, last one, encore. One more. Beyonce! Oh, yourself. <laughs> All right. Save the best for last. Okay. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had to break it. 
is the reins I'm taking. I ain't never gonna shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. You know I'm my saving grace. Woo! Oh, By the way, you uh, captured each of their characters <laughs> of their voices. She really did. Yeah, I, right? That, that's like, the I, hard close part. Close your eyes a little <laughs> yeah, bit. It's like, whoa, of, is that Beyonce? So who would be out of those three or on any other name would be like, you would say, had the biggest influence uh, for you? Her. Uh, oh, yeah? Oh. Beyonce. Oh, her. Yes, Olivia <laughs> Pardini. <laughs> <Beyonce. laughs> <laughs> Beyonce. Yeah. Okay, Beyonce. well, good choice. I can Definitely. see that. Yeah, and this, hopefully you can be on the same trajectory as well. Oh, thank amen you so much to for that. Bye, and congratulations once again on Laya Thank you so much for having single. me. Guys. Yes, guys, make sure you check it out on all the available digital platforms and download it for sure. Now let us end this segment mm -hmm. with the tree that we promised you. Indeed. Olivia's stunning performance of her latest single, Laya Kuchinta. Go ahead, Olivia. All right. All right. By the way, yes. Uh, which was your favorite of the covers that she did? Definitely Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. I was. Nailed I, got, it, huh? I, got yeah, I thought I was at the Super Bowl a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, please welcome Olivia Padere. Padere.